everybody, it's Chad, and today I want to show you my new favorite way of wearing the kerchief. Now, if you've seen pictures of me before or videos of me before, you know that I typically wear my kerchief in what I call the military style. And that's where it kind of hangs down a point here in the front, it ties around my neck. It's a way a lot of you wear yours as well. And I found that it's great when you're kind of sitting still or in town, you know, just need a way to stay warm and protect your neck. Because it does a great job of kind of sealing in heat. But what I found is when you're out on the trail and moving, it's not as adaptable or easy to regulate your body temperature while wearing the kerchief in that style. So what I stumbled upon really are just through use is really just a basic neckerchief. So you take the, the kerchief, you fold it in half into a point, and then just wear it behind your neck just like this. Now what's so great about this way of wearing the kerchief is it's so much more adaptable. You can easily uh, change it into several different ways of wearing it, but also allows you to regulate your body temperature much more easily. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I'm on the move, when I'm hiking, I'm typically, typically wearing a collared shirt like this. And what I found with the military style is a lot of the heat was escaping from the back of my neck. So when I kind of threw the kerchief behind here, I found that it did a much better job of kind of sealing in that heat while at the same time sopping up any sweat I had back there and also you know, adding a little more wind resistance and warmth, which I found really kind of nice. So when you start wearing the kerchief from here, you can easily adapt this into several different ways of wearing it. So if I'm on the move and my neck starts cooling off, I can very easily turn this into a um, kind of a neck gaiter or scarf. It adds lots of layers of warmth and insulation to your neck. Um, and then when, if you start warming up, it's very easy to untie it and allow that part of your body to breathe very easily. Now, say you're out and about and you need a you know, very quick um, face mask, you can do the same sort of thing. Come across here. tie it off in the back and boom you've got a very easy face mask on the go uh, now say if my uh, if I'm slowing down or the winds getting really uh, blustery or it's getting really cold and my head's chilling off a little bit I can very easily you know move the uh, the kerchief up into a hood with an open space here or if it's getting really cold I can tie it off behind and give it insulation for my neck as well now, typically when I'm out in the woods, I'm only wearing a baseball cap. I'm not wearing a beanie or a watchman's cap like most people are. I found that they're great for when you're in camp, sitting still, but when you're out on the move, they're just too warm. And your only way of kind of adjusting them is to just take them on and off. Now, when I wear a baseball cap, my head's able to breathe, but when it starts getting a little cool, I can very easily throw this up to provide that warmth for my head. Now, say I don't have um, a ball cap or a beanie and my head starts getting really cold, you can very easily make one uh, from this position again as well. You just come down here and tie the ends or bring them around here to the front. You can either kind of tuck them in a little bit or just fold up the front here. And you have a very quick, very easy makeshift uh, uh, warm cap or beanie. And what's nice is it provides a lot more insulation for your ears and for your, uh, for your forehead. And what's also kind of nice, again, when you're on the move or you've just stopped moving and you're maybe sweating a little bit, this does provide a lot of uh, material to kind of absorb that sweat to help keep you dry and warm. So with this, I still don't bring a beanie when I go out in the woods. I just never found a need anymore to, uh, to wear one because I have my kerchief with me. Um, now, the other thing is when you pull into camp, um, you want to kind of trap some of that heat, but not trapping so much heat that you start sweating. So just kind of bring this around as, as a shawl. You need to provide some, some upper body warmth as well. Seals off the back of your shirt, uh, kind of trapping some of that heat. Um, and just kind of allows you to kind of, kind of bring your body temperature down a little bit without getting too cold or staying too warm and sweating. And there's so many more ways you can wear the kerchief starting from this position. Now, I love this way of wearing the kerchief so much, I'm thinking about calling it the starting position because there's so many different ways you can wear the kerchief that all start from this position. It gives you more adaptability in ways to wear, but also more versatility in managing your body temperature. So this is my new favorite way of wearing the kerchief. I hope it becomes yours as well. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out the other how-to videos we have on the website. We have over 30 different videos showing you how to wear the kerchief, the handkerchief, or the hooded neck gaiter in lots of different ways to help you stay warm or stay cool depending on your adventure. So again, this is Chad North. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.